Welcome to another episode of the Hammer Down Sales and Productivity Podcast, where my mission is to help you achieve more success, more clients, a better mindset, and to create that killer mentality that will take you and your business to extraordinary levels. Welcome to another episode of the Hammer Down Sales and Productivity Podcast. My name is Wayne Weathersby, and thank you for joining us. Today's topic is going to be becoming a person of interest through building your brand and being omnipresent. We'll call this one Lights, Camera, Action. Using social media and other platforms to build your brand and bring attention to your business. As social media has risen in the last few years, so has video on the internet. Now more than ever, companies are realizing the importance of video marketing and video direction. As an effort to embrace new technology, even large corporations are hiring full-time companies to produce video content year-round. If the large businesses are doing it, don't you think it's a good time to consider it for your small business? Did you know that YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world? If you take a second and think about it, That means people are searching for anything on YouTube with the hope that they can watch a video on it. We're not talking about searching for new music videos or funny kids doing crazy stuff. Anything and everything is searched for on YouTube now. People are searching videos to find real estate agents, insurance, financial services, buy a car, boats, etc. They search for how to do videos. People would much rather watch a video on how to, let's say, fix their computer than read directions or an article. Recently, I was trying to locate something on my computer, and I just Googled it, which then showed a bunch of video web results to the tech sites to read blogs or answers from individuals. I tried to read a couple of them and understand what they were saying, but it was not working. Then I remembered my philosophy on video, so I clicked video in the results, which then took me straight to YouTube. Imagine that, where I pressed play, and it showed someone with the exact same problem that I had And it was like magic. Kind of like when you were a kid and you always wanted to watch a movie to do, uh, watch the movie instead of doing your book report, right? It's been reported that 51% of all online content viewed is video content. There's over 2 billion videos watched online a year, which is twice as much as the year before. Videos usually is really taken over. An estimated 50%, 6% of internet users uh, watch video on YouTube in the last 24 hours. And they do it on phones and tablets and any other uh, device that they have at their disposal. The only thing stopping you from appearing larger than life is your online presence, really. The statistics like this, it's time to create your own YouTube channel and make sure that your social media platform and footprint is huge. I know some of you may be hesitant in creating a channel because you maybe not like making videos or what have you. A little trick is at first is to upload your channel with some great videos from other profession that are already on YouTube. Nothing wrong with that. And it will give you some initial content while you're working on your own videos. Maybe your company has videos and commercials that they're working on or have already produced and you can use some of those as well. I know my company does. So I upload some of those to from my industry onto my YouTube channel as well. And when you're ready, start, you know, recording videos, do 30 to 60 second videos. You want to try to keep the videos to maybe a minute max. Reason being studies show that the viewers tend to lose interest after 60 seconds on an average, unless it continues to intrigue and is fast moving. There may be a little nervousness on your side initially taking, you know, talking to the camera, but don't worry, it goes away. You must just power through it and be confident. Most of us in individual branding and sales have a natural talent when it comes to this. Actors and salespeople have very much in common. I like to stare at the camera and imagine a friend or a client's face when I'm talking. Helps me stay focused and remember my script. Whether you're in real estate or any other profession, video marketing is extremely important and works when done correctly and professionally. You know, when you search Google for something, videos always seem to be at the top of the search results. Well, that's what I mean. Everything is tracked by video online now. There's no question for me, 90% of the time, I will watch a video on the topic before I'll go to a website and read something. You know, if someone in Australia searches for Los Angeles real estate, the results page pops up 
and all the different real estate sites. However, there's also a couple of videos that are at the top of the page. So they press play and it's a real estate agent with a sharp professionally done video talking about a house that they have listed and showing Los Angeles or Orlando or Tampa. At the end of the result, it shows his or her website. Now the buyer from Australia has a reason to go to your website and contact you. This works in all fields. Anyone in sales should have a promo video of themselves that can be posted on the web. It is critical to hire a professional video agency for your promo video on you and our and don't you know don't cut corners. You don't want it to look cheap. Do your clients a favor and look professional. This is a major investment in yourself and your business. You know, some people will spend $25,000 on the video. I'm not suggesting that, but do yourself a favor and make it look professional and interesting. You cannot afford to look bad with poor quality. Your goal is to be, you know, able to craft excellent content that keeps people's interest. Think about a movie trailer. This will set the tempo for your content. Now, you don't have to hire a company every time. There are many time, times that I'll grab my phone and I'll shoot a quick 30-second video of a new listing or something that I'm interested in. It's just another video uploaded to my YouTube channel. You only need one cinema quality video of yourself like the professionals use here. There are many real estate video companies like eHome Tours that would also shoot professional video or listings for your for about 200 bucks. These are great supplements that follow your smartphone videos and they work well for marketing properties. However, keep in mind that your promo video must be a cinema quality if possible. A first impression per se in a new day and age where online networking has really taken over. Just as you want to create content on social media sites, you want to do the same on video sites. Upload your videos wherever you can. There are plenty of video websites that you want your videos to be on as well, not just YouTube. Now, I know you're probably thinking, how am I going to find the time to upload videos on all these different video sites besides YouTube? Don't worry about that. There are sites like TubeMogul that once you've uploaded it there, the site will automatically send it out to dozens of other sites. When uploading create and creating a title for your video, you want to identify and use the right keywords to tag the video. Make sure your titles reflect that people are searching for and how you would search for that video. The goal is to be on the first page of the results if you can. Google Analytics are very helpful in showing the right keywords. Just search Google Analytics and it's very uh, self-explanatory. Now I'd like to take a second and let you hear some directions and tips from uh, some research that I did from some of the big companies out there. Build your network and grow your audience. Social media has taken us global. It is giving you the easiest way to connect to a growing audience. Did you know that more than 400,000 people were born yesterday worldwide? Now, guess how many new users signed up for Facebook according to a report? Over 600,000 people average sign up daily for Facebook. Networks like Facebook, Twitter, and Google have populations growing faster than the earth itself. These facts are what make social media a fact. It's not just one country or area. The world has embraced it. Is it any wonder that every person that I talk to, every corporation that I consult with, has a Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter account now? Why? They know the power of it, and more importantly, they know how to use it. Not only is social media not good, too good to be true, but it's free for the most part. Remember the old saying, nothing in life is free? I've tried to look for this to be true in the case of social media, but simply can't see it. If it's free and it works, use it. Even crazier is how every day more and more people are making these social networks like the Fab Five, their main websites. Many business owners have trained that I've trained do not have traditional websites anymore. 
they use one of the big five. Together, there are billion dollar empires with a billion users that enable us to access that network within their networks at no cost. In a time of economic crisis and incomes being less than what they once were, social media not only is a better way to market, advertise, and network, but it's free. It has made it so we are able to not have to spend money like we once did on print ads all over the place. We can now use the money towards video marketing and possibly placing ads on social networks for a small fee. These ads are a thousand times more effective and it's proven. With how everything is searched, tracked, and found today, online presence is everything. Personally, I feel social media and these networks are the greatest way to build your brand. Okay, maybe we can't go that far, but I think it has its place for sure. Creating your brand is huge. People want to do business with people that they are attracted to for one reason or another. That's why you have these reality TV shows where people are shown doing business and people want to do business with them because they appear to almost be like famous, right? You want to be omnipresent. You want to be everywhere and you want your footprint to be as large as possible. Building your brand is absolutely the single most important thing that you can do to stand out above the crowd. I don't want to be like everybody else. I want to be something special, but there has to be a value exchange. You have to have the substance once you have the platform. So run with it. Make yourself into a global superstar. Everybody has the same amount of opportunities. You're not restricted from any of those platforms. You can use them just like everybody else does. So find something that makes you different. Stop, find something that makes you special and be magnetic. Enjoy it. It doesn't have to be stressful. Good luck and enjoy. Thank you for joining us.